But it's a different story for another Chicago business, a factory so busy it's created more than 80 new jobs in the last four years. It's in suburban Bensonville, and tonight for the first time, TV cameras are being allowed inside. NBC5's Rob Elgus reports on his marshmallow mystery tour. Look beneath the cruising airliners. Not far from the hectic streets of downtown Chicago. There's a tasty neighbor next to the chaos of O'Hare. They're close <laughs> off. Every single day of the year. 24-7 we're making marshmallows. Here. A mystery factory churns and churns and churns. It has now become a very big part of American lore and history. Oompa, oompa, doompa dee dee. Where are the oompa loompas? Those guys are all up the stairs. <laughs> we keep them hidden. Do buddy do. No, it's not Willy Wonka's factory. It's Bensonville-based Dumac, a company that's made marshmallows for nearly half a century. We go from a cooked product to in the bag in under 40 minutes. Well, let's check it out. All right. President Barry Bloom is giving us a look at what's inside that sticky, fluffy, mushy marshmallow. Marshmallow is made up of pretty simple ingredients. Corn syrup, sugar, water, dextrose, and then the magic ingredient, which is air. Dumac delivers its delectable delight to nearly 50 countries worldwide, feeding its treasure, campfire marshmallows, to millions of people annually. What's he doing? Here he's checking the size, and he just goes along to see that they're, they're the same. On the hill, as it's called by employees, cornstarch is added to the rope-like mixture. And here you can see we're cutting these to approximately an inch and an eighth in, in a length. While the factory workers take care of that, how about a brief marshmallow mystery history lesson? Marshmallows were first made in ancient Egypt. They took the root of a marshmallow plant, and they took the sap from that root, and they mixed it with honey, and it was made for the pharaoh. Fast forward to the turn of the century. Drop the plant, add some sugar, and it's nearly the same recipe used today. The marshmallow came to the United States in the early 1900s. That's when the formula started to change, and it really became more of a sweet. Deep inside the factory. The marshmallows come up from the extrusion room into the packaging room here. The receiver upstairs. The door closes. There they go. Oh. Here they come. I can eat this? You can eat that one. Oh, I've been waiting the whole day to eat one. Oh, my goodness. The marshmallows are now packaged and ready to be shipped. I do feel blessed every day to be part of such a fun product. We do take our job seriously, but we have a blast. Loompa, loompa. Everybody enjoying them. So the mystery solved, and while Chicagoland goes about daily life, Campfire sends out about 150,000 pounds of marshmallows a day. Enjoy yours, Allison. Oh, our newsroom has been enjoying them. Thank you. Sure. They do make you smile, don't they? <laughs> They're just happiness. The world.